Welcome, boys and girls. All right, man. Video number two for the day. I just got into a debate with some guy or lady, whoever it is. Uh, the name, the title for their name is The Facts. Okay. So this one's for you, brother or sister, whichever one you are. I think it's a guy. Uh, the reason we're debating is because I just put out a video about evolution versus creator and how 99% of everybody I've debated, you know, very intelligent individuals. In fact, this guy here seems like a very intelligent individual. Uh, most of them will readily agree that you have two roads, either a creator or evolution. Okay. Uh, this guy seems to be one of the 1% because he says neither one. You know, there's other ways out there to explain everything we see and where we're headed and everything in between, right? So I don't agree with that. But anyway, what this has done, stimulate my brain into making another video. Why? Because me and him went back and forth a little bit, even though I refuse to get on the merry-go-round and go around and around because I know we're not going to come to a understanding. Uh, but anyway, he asked me, what evidence can I give to turn an unbeliever into a believer. Okay, and this is going to be a good little, this is actually going to be a good little one right here, okay? It's only going to take a minute. Give me a, give me a minute. Jesus was raising the dead in front of many, many people, and most of these people turned away, and they called him a demon. They called him names. They didn't want nothing to do with him. They just went right back to their old lifestyle. Uh, and again, this shows... The mentality of people. You see something like that go down right away. You should be knowing, okay, even if they believe that there are demons, then they need to believe that there is a God and there are angels and there, there's heaven and hell and everything in between. Okay. But no, 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 no. You're a demon. I'm just going to go back to my old lifestyle until the day I die. And that is that. See, this is how shallow people are. This is, this is how they think. Okay. They just can't. They see that fire. They've seen the fire. It's coming up the mountain right at them, and they just choose to stand there and look at it, okay? Unfortunately, it's like the frog in the pot of wa cold water that is slowly being turned up, slowly starts to boil, and there they sit until they die. Now, so I, I told this guy that there is no golden key to making an unbeliever believe in God, and there's not. There's nothing I can say and there's nothing I can do that is a golden key to turn somebody to God, okay? Literally, nothing. Like I say, if Jesus was raising the dead and that didn't work, there's nothing I can do, okay, that will be a absolute fix to somebody turning to God. So in other words, and this is what I told the guy, this is the absolute fix right here. The Bible says that, you know, God says that if you seek me with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul, if you seek me, I will show you. I will open the door. Okay? This is a promise from God. So, for all of you people who are, you know, well, I'm going to read the Bible and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. Excuse my language. I'm going to do it half ass just to prove that there is no God. Then God is not going to show you that he is real. Okay, God is going to do something in your life to prove to you that he exists, but you must seek him. You must knock on the door and knock and knock and knock and knock and don't stop knocking until he opens it. But it is a guarantee that if you keep knocking, he will open that door and then you're going to see it. Okay, you're going to see it. Trust me, I've seen it many times and I wasn't even knocking. Okay. A lot of times I got knocked on my butt by my own stupidity and God showed up and I knew it was him and I, there ain't no doubt about it. I'm not going to get into it right now. Take me five days to spill all that out. Uh, that is your answer to the question for this guy called the facts. Okay, knock on the door. Keep on knocking diligently and truthfully. Keep on knocking. Keep searching. Keep seeking for God and you well, he'll, he'll open that door. He guarantees it, okay? So that is the answer to your question. That's the answer to everybody's question. That's going to be another video that I'm going to be able to use to shoot to people that I get in debates about that want proof that God exists, okay?
How are you going to prove to me that he exists? And that's exactly right now because of this guy that I just got into a debate with. Debate, yeah, debate with I have now had the answer uh, that I'm going to send off, you know, without got, getting on the merry-go-round and going round and round and round and round trying to explain it. Uh, this is the answer that I'm looking for. Seek and you will find. That's exactly what God says. You know, knock on that door, keep knocking, and you're going to find it. You're going to see it. He's going to make himself known to you, and you're going to see it, and then there will be no doubt about it. And then you keep on seeking. You know, don't just get a glimpse of God and then take off going the other way. You know, you get a taste of that, man. You keep on going for it. I think there's a scripture in the Bible that, you know, talks about people that have tasted the goodness of God, that have seen God, but yet they turn away later on and go back to their sins and they reject God. And now they're worse off than what they were to begin with. Why? Because they've seen God. Okay. You've literally seen God in action. I mean, you've seen it. There's no denying it. And now, like a year later, half a year later, three years later, you turn around and go back to your sin, and now you're worse off. You should have never known God to begin with. Okay, because on Judgment Day, God is going to say, Oh boy, see there, I gave you proof that I was here, that I am there, and you stabbed me in the back. Okay, that's, that's worse. Okay, you've been better off not knowing God in the first place. Anyway, I'm into the six minutes. Let's leave it at that. Uh, keep it short. And peace out. Take care. God bless.